NASA can't open asteroid Bennu's sample container. At the end of September, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft delivered a capsule containing valuable samples of material from the asteroid Bennu to Earth. However, NASA specialists encountered an unexpected problem. They cannot open the sample container because two elements securing the container lid are blocked. September 24 was a big day for NASA. The OSIRIS-REx, Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security Regolith Explorer, Probe delivered a capsule containing samples taken from the asteroid Bennu to Earth. Bennu is believed to be over 4 billion years old, meaning it dates back to when our solar system was just forming. Analysis of the collected material can tell us about the conditions that prevailed during the formation of our planetary system. Samples were collected on October 20, 2020. The probe left orbit around Bennu and deployed a nearly 3.5-meter boom to collect soil samples. Then it approached the asteroid's surface and released high-pressure nitrogen from the nozzle, which atomized the dust on the asteroid, and then the soil particles were sucked onto the probe's deck. The goal was to collect at least 60 grams of material. But NASA admitted that so far more than 70 grams of samples have been collected from the outside of the material container. Because the container itself hasn't been opened yet. Preliminary analysis of this material indicated high carbon and water content in the samples. Researchers also noticed the presence of clay minerals. NASA engineers hit a snag. They cannot cope with opening the sample container. Therefore, they are still not sure exactly how much material the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft brought back. We will only find out when the container is finally opened. When will it happen? This is not known. For the OSIRIS-REx mission, NASA built a new clean room where samples from Bennu were delivered. After many attempts to open the container, it turned out that two of the 35 elements securing the head of the TAGSAM touch and go sample acquisition mechanism. Where the asteroid material is located, were blocked. They cannot be removed using current clean room approved tools. The sample process to date includes rocks and dust found outside the probe head, as well as some of the bulk sample from inside the head, which was accessed through a mylar flap, NASA wrote on its blog. OSIRIS-REx scientists have appropriate procedures in place for handling these types of samples. It is extremely important not to contaminate the samples with terrestrial material. Immediately after landing, the entire capsule was transported to a special chamber under the flow of nitrogen. This is the so-called, nitrogen purging, as scientists call it. Nitrogen is a gas that does not interact with most other chemicals, and its presence is intended to prevent terrestrial contamination, leaving the sample clean for scientific analysis. 
All tools used by the engineering team must be sterile and fit into a glove box with a constant flow of nitrogen. However, those approved for use did not fulfill their role. NASA specialists are currently developing and implementing new methods of material extraction, while maintaining safety and ensuring that samples are not contaminated. They will probably have to create new tools that will not disturb the material during download. NASA says the team will develop and practice a new way to get to the precious samples over the next few weeks.